Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. Hello once again our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our revision session and we are continuing our lesson on exponents but now I'm focusing on some previous question papers which is uh, what I call the typical exam questions on exponents. Now this is the most important section that I will encourage you to go through it time and again. Don't go through it once but every time you want to revise just go through these videos that are going to follow from here and and again guys remember you need to be subscribed so that you can be able to follow up everything i'm going to be teaching you in this part so go on and subscribe right now so that you can be notified there is a, a notification bell that you need to turn on so that it can help you to be notified every time there's a new video that is coming all right so let us look now at this typical questions that you can expect in your exam number 5.1.2 says simplify without a calculator so they won't uh, you won't be having a calculator but now you can use the calculator always to advantage in as much as you cannot find x on the calculator but you can just ask yourself to say if i just take my calculator and i find out what is the square root of 16 you know square root of 16 is 4 so what does it mean? This is what you need to understand. If I give you this sign, that sign means square root. So it means bracket and then it means power half. Are you with me? Then if I give you this sign like this, this is a cube root. It means bracket, whatever is inside the bracket, but outside you say power three. So here it's power, um, it's one over two because there is a hidden two. That's why we call it square root so if i say fourth root of whatever will be in here it means put a bracket and then you say one over four do you see that so which means if such is the case let me uh, uh, maintain the one for square root if you just get that sign it means you put a bracket and you say one over what one over two and if i put nth root it means bracket and your job is to say 1 over n now on this question here they gave us square root of 16 to the power over 6 so the moment they do that you say uh, let me write it uh, so that we can see this it's square root of 16 x to the power 16 right which is equal to you put a bracket and then you've got 16 x to the power 16 and then that's the first thing to do you say 1 over 2 why 1 over 2 as a power don't forget because they say it what square root so there is a hidden 2 there are you with me then remember 16 we say it was the same as uh, i mean square root of 16 was 4 which means if i say 4 squared you need to remember that 4 squared is what it's 16 and then it's x to the power of 16 bracket to the power 1 over 2 are you seeing that then equal to then it's now using that law which says a to the power m b i mean uh, a to the power it was a times b to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m dot b to the power of m so this m in a way multiplies each one so even the same thing here this one over two what it does it is going to multiply each exponent are you with me so what you're going to write you're going to say there four to the power two times that one over two right and then x to the power 16 times that one over two you see what i'm doing and then equal to then you use a calculator to say two times half you get one 16 times half or half of 16 is eight so the answer will be four x 
to the power of 8. That becomes your answer there. Are you with me? And also, there is a little bit of uh, thing you can do here. You, instead of, uh, let me take it from here to say, if you are now having that 16x to the power of 16, and then everything again to the power half, you can express 16 with your calculator. What you do, as I said, you take your calculator, and with your calculator, you press Shift F. Remember, I you say 16 equal to, so you want to express it as a product of its prime factors. So you say Shift, then you press that button there. If you press that, it will give you 16, I think it's 2 to the power 4. So you have 2 to the power 4, x to the power of 16 is still correct. To the power of half so which means it gave you 16 in terms of 2 but you follow the same part it will be 2 to the power of 4 times a half you see that and then x to the power of 16 times a half now half of 4 is 2 so your answer instead will be 2 squared and then here you maintain your 8 x to the power of 8 but you know what is 2 squared 2 squared you check with the calculator but 2 times 2 is 4x to the power of 8. Whatever way, the answer was still going to lead to that answer. Okay. Okay. Now, simplify without a calculator. There is the next one. Simplify. And then they gave you what? It's a very interesting one. It's a plus b to the power 0. Now, remember, anything to the power of 0 is equal to what? 1. So, the answer there was simple 1. Why? Look at this. They put a bracket and they put everything is affected by that power zero. So it was simple a one day. You needed to pick that up. All right. Let's continue with our revision session here. Uh, you're supposed to simplify this. There is a multiple choice here. They're saying simplify that. Now look at this. They now gave you that cube root. I told you if they give you this cube of whatever, you, you, you put a bracket and you say it's power 1 over 3. That's what that cube means. It means put a bracket and you say to the power 1 over 3. So if they give you here, it was cube root of 27x cubed. See that? Equal to, then you put a bracket, and then you have your 27x cubed inside, and then here you say to the power 1 over 3. That's the most key thing. And then you take your calculator, you say, let me, uh, you say 27 equal to, you want to express it as an exponent. So you say 27 equal to, then you say shift fact. I told you your calculator has a, has a thing written F-A-C-T. If you press it, it will give you 3 to the power of 3, right? And then X to the power of 3. Or you need to know that 27 is 3 to the power of 3. They will always give you numbers that, are like that they don't they don't they don't just give you random numbers whatever they give you will make sense okay so if you continue now we are using the same law to say here it will be equal to three to the power of three now you multiply because of this bracket you see the bracket you multiply that by one over three and then again x to the power three please ensure that it's exponents don't make the 1 over 3 to come down at the end. You have 1 over 3 like that. No. Remember, it must hang at the top there. It must be hanging to show that it's an exponent. So that you cancel that. And then you'll have 3. 3 times 1 over 3 is 1. 3 is 1. And then again, x. 3 times 1 over 3 is 1. So the answer is 3 to the power 1. x to the power 1, which is equal to 3x. Do we have that answer? Yes. This is the answer we have in D. So the answer there was D. Now, just to uh, recap what I wanted to tell you to say, when you're writing the exponent, some make an ex a mistake like this. This is what they do. They say 3 to the power of 3 times 1 over 3. You see? And then x to the power of 3 times 1 over 3. Now, you're confusing now. It's as if this 1 over 3 is now on the same line with 3. This is wrong. Okay? So, it's 3 
to the power of 3 look at this times 1 over 3 it must be at the top to show that you're dealing with what with exponents all right now simplify without a calculator i like this part simplify without a calculator what do you do first get your calculator because you need first to know the answer and then work towards that answer so that when the moment they say without you take that calculator it's 4 to the exponent negative 2 all right plus bracket um 1 over 4 to the exponent negative 1 all right do that equal to the answer is 65 over 16 so we are getting here 65 over 16 now i want you to try it on your own ask yourself how did the calculator get this answer but now remember you are using uh, your normal uh, exponential laws we are using because of the powers definitely is the laws of what of exponents can you try that on your own and tell me what you're getting so what you do you pause this video and then you work it on your own and then after that you check my answer so let's do this what do we have here remember let's come to the rules if i give you a to the power negative m what does the rule say to get rid of this negative you say one over and then it will be a to the power m that's what we're going to do there which means if i say four to the power negative two plus one over four to the power negative one is equal to that 4 to the power negative 2 to get rid of that negative 2 i say 1 over 4 to the power of what of 2 plus let's continue again if i give you uh they wanted to trick you there if i give you let's focus on what is inside the bracket which is 1 over 4 it will work much better now you could have done this just to show you something they gave us here bracket 1 over 4 to the power negative 1 you can still use that law to get rid of this you say 1 over 1 over 4 but you need to be clever now to say 1 over 1 over 4 you need to know that this is equal to 4 and the other alternative i'll suggest is take 1 over 4 use this rule let's start with the rule first the rule or the law uh, i'm reading it going this direction to say if i'm given 1 over a to the power m equal to if i want to take it to the top it will be a to the power negative m do you see that i'm reading it now from right to left meaning if you give me one over four then i want to take four to the top now there's a hidden one there it will be four to the power negative one you can test it with your calculator and say what is uh four to the exponent negative one you see it's one over four so which means i can write here and say 4 to the power negative 1 bracket minus 1 so there are two of them there is the negative 1 of 1 over 4 and the minus 1 and then from here i can move on and say this is equal to now 4 squared is 1 over 16 plus now i multiply that because of the bracket plus 4 minus 1 times minus 1 okay then which is equal to now 1 over 16 let's put this there 1 over 16 now minus 1 times minus 1 it's plus 4 see that's the same answer you got there it becomes 4 but now since this is a fraction you say 4 over 1 now you just check it with the calculator just to see are you still on the right track so what you do you say let me add this 1 over 16 and then plus what plus 4 over 1 or plus 4 it's 65 over 16 do you see that it still maintains that it means you are still on the right track so you ask yourself how do you it's a it's simple the normal way you you solve this i think in here um how do you solve this uh the normal way you do your fractions you know you can look at the common denominator it's 16 and you can say 1 over 16 times 4 over 4 plus 4 over 1 times 16 over 16 
any way you solve fractions. And then 16 times 4 is what? It's 64. So this will be, if I continue it here, 1 times 4, it's 4 over 64. Am I right? Plus, uh, okay, actually, I didn't do it right here. Let me correct this. I didn't do it right here. What was I supposed to write here? It's uh, 1 it's times 1 over 1 here. Sorry about that. So it is supposed to be 1 times 1. It's 1 over 16 because we are multiplying by 16 on the other side by 1 on the other side. Okay. It's 1 over 16 plus 16 times 4 which is 64 over 16. Are you seeing that? And then at the end, we've got 16 at the bottom. So, and then on top is 1 plus 64. Now, 1 plus 64, it's 65 over 16. This is what we got on the calculator. They give you two marks. Not bad. It's worth it, you know. So that's how you can, uh, in a way, solve such a question. Laws of exponents are very, very important. You definitely need to know that let's move on 5.1.6 i think we will end up here in 5.1.8 for the day and then we'll do it again in the next lesson let's look at this one again they say it without a calculator you need to simplify that so if i take my calculator what do i have first of all always go through a calculator now be careful this is what some of you make an error here they do that too to do 2 and 1 over 2, they say 2, they do that, and then they put 2, and then they put 1 over 2. Let me show you what your calculator will give you. Just having that equal to, you say it says 1, and this can't be 1. So what you need to do, you must know that you say shift that. That's the in, in mixed number, where you put 2 and 1 over 2. Look what your calculator gives you, you see. So be careful now. So we put that first in what? Let's put the bracket first. So be careful how you punch this. Don't don't make an error. And then you put squared plus uh, plus what? Bracket zero comma five uh, squared. What does it give me? It gives me thirteen over two. So guess what? Our aim is to prove that. Now you saw that two and a half. It was five over two. They that one they won't penalize you. You can write it. It's, it's same as saying two times two is four plus one. It's five over two. You can use a calculator actually to find that, but they won't know that you use the calculator. So you say two and a half. You get the answer. Then you write it. It's five over two plus. Now what is zero comma five? You take a calculator. You know. You just have to use a calculator, 0, 0,5 equal to, this is a half, you see? So this is 1 over 2. Anyone can do that without using a calculator. I know 0, 0,5 is the same as a half. And then from here, I continue and say this is equal to, remember these are laws of exponents. If it's squared, this is 1, this is 1, this is 5 squared. This is same as 5 squared over to square the top and the bottom or if it's like that if it's squared it means 5 over 2 again multiplied by 5 over 2 that's what it means plus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 sometimes it's good to take a calculator you do individual and say what is shift this two and a half And then you square it. Get this. It's 25 over 4. So you're like 5 times 5, 2 times 2. You see that? And then you say 0, 0,5 squared. Check equal to what? 1 over 4, which is 1 times 1, 2 times 2. You see that? So this is equal to 5 times 5 is 25 over 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 times 1, 1 over 4. Then common denominator already is 4. And then it's 25 plus 1. You see that? Equal to. When you do that, it will be 25 plus 1, which is 26 
over 4, but the calculator never gave us that. You can see 26 and 4, 2 into 4 is 2, 2 into 26 is 13. Then the answer is 13 over 2. You must try such, you must practice that. Very important for you. Now, your duty, do these last two. Okay, let's, I will show you this one. Maybe it's still different. Do the, this one. We did this one. Uh, similar, we did this one. Very interesting. It's a multiple choice. 5.1.7. Simplify square root of x cubed. What would be the answer there? It's a very, very, very important question. It can trick you. So pause this video and try it on your own. And then if you did it, uh, well, this is what you expected. Remember, I told you that if they give you that, it means bracket and it's what? Half. Are you with me? So here, if they give you x to the power of 3, it's same as saying bracket x to the power of 3 to the power half. I think that equal to. So when you look at the answers, you see if, uh, different answers altogether, but you can look at this. Now, if I've got x to the power of 3, same as saying x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 1, you'll see why I'm doing that. So remember this kind of working because it will help you. Now, this half is now going to be like this x to the power of 2 times half dot x to the power of 1 times 1 over 2. See what I did? I'll show you now. Now, 2 times half, you cancel, that is what? It's x dot x to the power 1 over 2, which is equal to now x. Remember, this x to the anything to the power half is semi squared. So now this part, this one, will be dot square root of what? Square root of x. You see that? Then the answer symbol comes there. Don't be don't be don't be tricked there. That's how you go about that. All right. So if you you practice it again and again, please remember to practice this one. It's a very important one. Last one uh, here. Um, I think we'll continue this because of time. Let's continue this in the next lesson. That's why it's very important to, for you to subscribe and ensure the notification bell is turned on. My time is up. This is a 24-minute lesson, and it has to be. Uh, try to maintain it under 24 minutes so that in one sitting you can finish the whole lesson and then also i have time to practice join me in the next lesson remember to share the channel to your friends share the channel to your um, anyone that you think can benefit from it as well as you need to be subscribed we have come to the end of our lesson thank you